uh, reflected in the office of the Prime Minister relating to iron sheets and goats that got distributed to people who least deserve it, yet they are in charge of that process, is really morally repugnant. It is an acceptable form of corruption that we have perennially seen unfold in the office of the Prime Minister. Bwati Senkulu Action Aid Zavia Ejoy, Galago Wenya Mivorobu, Binobuli Akowele Kedemu Office ya Saba Minister in Sanji Zino, Kiaga Mintichani Senyobu Zino, Wuli Muyafesi za government ya Zitali Zimu. Of course, we are not new to this form of corruption in the office of the Prime Minister. In the past, we've had donor funds intended for the Peace Recovery and Development Plan for Northern Uganda swindled by officials in, the, in that very office. We saw during COVID relief items that were intended for people who were extremely affected by the pandemic. Ijo ya gamanti chinya miza kwe kubanti ya bintu ya bibwa biyali bia kuyamba kwa wabantu wabatali na muasirizi abali wago yedweche ya mkala moja nga katena kwe wayonka butaba. And what even is more disturbing is the fact that relief items intended for people who have been affected by the worst form of drought, famine, and they're experiencing really dire life situations in the Karamoja region. Zavia Ejoi wanu wakubidomu nangu kuta kunguleri ya fesi ya IGG okuwa eno nyeleze kubulia kubuli mu ya fesi ya saba minister na newe chupa chetagisa kukua taba venye gira mumivu yojino baku watibwe. And it is in the public domain and something of interest to the public that we want to see the Inspectorate of Government really prominently come out and pronounce the position of her office relating to this uh, fraud that is really going on in the office of the Prime Minister. And it's a moment when really we want to see the rubber hitting the road in the office of the, of the Inspectorate of Government. I know that uh, we've had the roles and the mandates of the uh, Inspectorate of Government taken up by other pseudo agencies, but this is really an opportunity for that office to prove itself that it is speaking to the needs of Ugandans in this particular case. Ejo ya Savene President Museveni alemekwe fulache siriki dengo bubi wewe tibuge na maso mu offices a government is single bunene. This is my appeal to you. What number one? To consider asking this officials that have been named to step aside pending independent fair and just investigation number two it is my appeal that the office of the prime minister that is supposed to coordinate government ministries departments and agencies is actually convoluted Ona jukiza ni President Museveni, niti abantu wano ya walina kubuvuna njizibwa, nga chimuka kata kuku waka angavula. Your Excellency, the head of state of Uganda, the fountain of honor, they are the fishermen that you appointed. We request you to see the level at which their actions have pitied not only them, but the government that you lead against the vulnerable citizens of this country.